In this problem, we're given the graph of the electric field, and we're asked to make a graph of the voltage. In order to do this, we have to ask ourselves that there's any slope to these electric fields. And because there aren't any slopes, we don't have to use the integral. We can actually simplify the equation down to uh, this, which would be um, a little bit easier than doing the integral. Um, although you can actually solve this by finding areas under the curve as well, which we will do. Um, but let's try to figure out what happens if um, we move through a field of zero. If you move through a field of zero for two centimeters, and um, by the way, let's go ahead and change these because I'm gonna, if we're going through through centimeters, I'm gonna change these to meters instead. The way to do that is I'm gonna go e to the negative two, and then e to the negative two. But anyway, so if we move through that field of two centimeters right there with zero, we're gonna get a change of voltage of zero because it's just zero. So what's the given voltage at zero centimeters? It's gonna be negative 10. That's what we're gonna sort of start our graph off. Um, I guess we'll call this a negative 10 right here. Negative 10 volts. So that's where we're gonna start. And we're gonna move uh, two centimeters through a change of nothing, you know, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna go two, two centimeters through that field. And now the next step is gonna be, well, we're going through this field of negative 2000. And that's gonna be for two centimeters. So we wanna put that into here into this equation, we can calculate it maybe over here, is because the delta V would be equal to um, negative, uh, negative 2,000, and then times the delta X, which would be just two, uh, E to the negative two meters. And so we can kind of see that, um, if we plug that into the calculator, delta V would actually be uh, plus 40. Okay, so that's why, that's why we're gonna move from negative 10, we're gonna move uh, through here, it's gonna add 40 to that. So that's gonna leave us at positive 30, right? 10, 20, and here's 30, 30 volts, because we're gonna go plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, plus 10. Um, one, two, and I guess, I guess we'll put 30 up here kind of more, but uh, yeah. So it's gonna go kind of like that. And you can also tell if you were to take the area under this curve and multiply uh, negative, well, I mean, remember that this is supposed to be the opposite because of that sign. So technically this is gonna be positive area. But if you multiply this uh, two centimeters by the 2000 down there, it's kind of making the square box here. So you're moving up 40 plus 40, takes you down to 30 volts over here. Ooh. And then, for the next step, you're going to move another two centimeters through this field of a thousand. Um, and we'll do that over here. So delta V equals, uh, and this is actually negative because it's a thousand in total here. And then you'll multiply this by the two e to negative two. And so that should give you uh, actual minus 20. So delta V equals minus 20 volts. And... Um, so now we can go from here, minus 20, and then we'll end up over here at 10 volts. So uh, that's how we can figure out the graph of the voltage. The next part of the problem is asking for the movement of an electron if we were to place it at one centimeter in here. So if we put the um, electron at one centimeter, well, one thing really important to remember is that the electrons are going to move toward the positive potential. I'm just going to put that right there. So it doesn't matter. We're just going to over here. One centimeter. This is one centimeter. Um, potential is completely flat. So therefore, this will not move. It's not going to move anywhere. Uh, but if we go to the three centimeter mark right here, notice that um, it wants to move this way. And if it wants to move that way, it wants to move to the right. So positive x uh, to the right. And if we were over here at five centimeters, then it would want to move this way towards the higher potential. So this one will move left on the x-axis. So that's gonna be part B. Now in this next part of the problem, we're given the graph of voltages and we're trying to find the graph of the electric field. And in this case, we've actually got two ones of the, uh, the x's and the y. 
We'll start with x's first. And uh, in order to figure out the electric field, we just need to know that the electric field is actually the negative uh, derivative uh, with respect to x as far as the voltage goes. So you just kind of have to find the slope and then make it negative. So we're going to find the slope here. I've already converted this to meters again because I don't like the centimeters. You're going to get wrong answers if you do the calculations like that. But uh, let's try to figure this out by saying, all right, um, this went down from 50 to zero. So, I mean, <laughs> um, rise over run, right? Uh, negative 50 and then divide that by the two centimeters down there. And so you get this negative 2,500, but um, we're going to make it positive because that's what the electric field is. So to go from here to there, um, you're going to need an electric field of 2,500. So that's what we're going to put around here. Uh, 2,500. 2,500 volts per meter. All right. Volts per meter. And that's going to be up here um, for two centimeters. That's what we needed to get that slope right there. But uh, let's go back here, actually. Um, keep in mind, obviously, there was no change here. So, I mean, this should be zero. Um, so that's pretty, should be pretty apparent there. So you get two. There's really nothing to do there. All right, so that's nice. I figured out the EX. Now let's go to EY. So here, we just need to find this slope again. And this went down 100 in the same span that that went down. So we're just going to go back to our equation and change the top to 100. And uh, we're going to get negative 5,000. Well, let's switch it to positive. So in this particular case, we're going to put the 5,000 mark uh, a little higher, I guess, because we kind of wanted to know that this is supposed to be a 2,500. Um, I could even move this a little bit lower just to kind of make it a little fair on the other side. We'll put this notch kind of like right over here. Anyway, the idea is, yeah, this is 2,500 here. This will be 5,000 right around here. Volts per meter um, for that two centimeters. And then um, now we're going to need the positive side. I think it's going to be 50 on top. It'll give us 2,500. And so on this side, we're going to need negative 2,500. We'll just go down about here, negative 2,500. And we'll put that right here. This is going to be the two centimeters that we have on this side. Bam. So now we've figured out the all of the electric fields um, based off of the slopes of those. And um, and now we got to go to this chart little right, right the little last piece right here. We're kind of going to be asked to, to figure out the arrows of the electric field. So which way is E? That's the question we're being asked over here at these particular coordinates. This is uh, the centimeters, of course. Um, so at 1, 1, let's try to figure out what's happening at 1, 1. That's going to be a positive X right here and a negative y over here, isn't it? So it's gonna be a positive x in this direction, but a negative y. So it's gonna be pointing kind of more like this. And then let's go to uh, one, negative one. So it's gonna be one, it's still gonna be pointing in this direction, but a negative one, it's gonna be pointing uh, very much so in the y direction, twice as much, in fact. So um, we're gonna make sure that this is uh, really high. So this one's actually supposed to be pointing like that, really big. Bigger than this one. And then uh, now let's go to negative one and one. So negative one is gonna be zero for x and mm, one for y is uh, pretty small. So we'll put that right here. That. And on the other side, let's go negative one, still zero. And it's going to be really high for the uh, y axis. Like this. Bam. A really big arrow. And so there we go. We figured out all the different directions and all the different things we need to solve for this problem.